Well, I guess Todd Howard finally got to me. So we're playing Skyrim. <laughs> but I actually found this mod that came across my my feed, and I really wanted to try it out. Oh, by the way, I'm an asthmatic actor, but you probably already knew that. If you didn't, well, now you do. Anyway, so we're playing a Skyrim mod, and this one actually is of the game Medieval. And I never actually have played this game, but here we are. So I, I don't know what to expect, and I guess my first introduction is playing it in Skyrim. Um, so we can start just in this area, and we can actually choose the main character, which is Sir Daniel Fortescue. I think I'm saying that right. Let's see, I'll read this. Uh, for years, Dan had regaled the nobles of Galamir with tales of slain dragons and vanquished legions. The king was so impressed that he made Dan a knight and appointed him head of the royal battalion. Of course, it was just an honorary post. Galamir had not seen war in many centuries, but the king liked story, and Daniel was an excellent storyteller. So it can be a man skeleton or a female skeleton. We'll, we'll be a man. Uh, I don't think that really has any bearing. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be a skeletons. And name? Uh, okay. oh, hold on. Oh, let me get my keyboard working. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Uh, good. Cal. Calcinium Mork. Yeah, <laughs> Calcinium Mork. <laughs> so Daniel Fortescue, Calcinium Mork. I I couldn't think of a better name. I just thought of calcium. Anyway, so we're here now. I don't know what this is, but. Got an old man. Hi! Yes, yes, hello. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I get a little distracted. Uh, yeah. You look puzzled, my friend. Is it your first time here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I guess you want some explanation of what's going on. I will try to keep it short. So we won't spend all eternity here. Sure. Do you see those altars in the corners? You have to activate them to become part of the story they represent. Admittedly, this doesn't explain much. But I'm sure you will understand once you try it for yourself. What will happen then? Well, you will know when you try it. Okay. So what he's saying in fancy speak is we can choose to do the main game or we can choose to do the medieval and we're gonna do that oh, we got this book here let's see okay so i guess this is the story of the actual game in a long in a long time ago there lived in the kingdom of galamir a sorcerer named zarak this arrogant pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways so he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against his unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how demons fell before him like a wheat before the scythe, and how, at last, though immortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as a hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. We're taking that. Oh, I think we were supposed... Well, we are... Okay, I know how to play Skyrim. We are supposed to play it on Adept. Okay, should I make sure that's there? And Calcinium work. Let's start. I don't know what to expect at all. Follow trail of Zarak's necromantic magic. It has risen again, Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? It's me. The hero 
Hero of Galamere, who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shroud of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. Hmm. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarek and live up to the legend. We hopes it does well. Yes, I do too. Thank you, Mr. Gargoyles. It oh. has risen again. Okay, alright. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, we got gloves. Okay, yes, we got it. Alright, well, we got some custom music. Um, well, this looks cool. Oh, what do we got over here? Whoa. I hope you don't mind us sniffing around your place a little. We hope to find some valuables here. Well, there was none. Only a simple sword and a mere copper shield. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, oh, this is a little awkward situation. Yeah. Well, I'll take this. All right, how do I... Weapons. Oh, I got an arm. Oh, fuck. I can equip my arm. <laughs> what? I can use my... Is that... Thank you for the arm. Just ignore me and continue on your quest. You do have some kind of quest, right? I think so. Oh, and uh, if you stumble upon my brother, tell him this. I didn't find anything good to steal in Fortescue's crypts. Oh. I mean, uh, <clears throat> that's actually an encrypted message. It, uh, it actually means something completely different. Uh, I, I swear. So you were trying to grave rob me, huh? Well. Oh, this is a little awkward situation. Yeah. Okay. Well, you 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 just stay over there. All right. So uh, I guess we can use the arm, but we got the sword, so I guess we could use that. We got a Morton. I don't know what that is, but. Is that like a piece of clothing? Yeah, we look sweet. We look cool. But let's use the shield. I don't... I don't know what that's for. But we got our sword. And... Got some apples. Though, so, truth be told, it's been a minute <laughs> since I played Skyrim, but... I think we'll be fine. Oh, shit. Alright. Just save. Calcimork. Calciniamork. Oh. Got some of that necromantic magic. Look at that. I didn't I didn't realize that was part of the game. Survival mo uh We're not gonna do that. I don't think this is a survival mode type of quest mod but we're in a graveyard now and that looks cool some shrooms got some schmelons i mean pumpkins all right well let's continue on i don't Oh, I don't... Oh. I don't know if I can show that. I swear I don't have any other mods on, I swear. Oh, yeah. Medieval. Oh, that's cool. Some coffins. Yeah, like I said, I never... Never have played this game, so I don't know what the theme is. I know they remade it a couple years back, but... 
That's about it. I don't really know much else. Take some lavender. Okay. Got a gate we can't go through. Can through this one. I'm just I'm just gonna take everything. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it all. I'm digging this music though. I like it. Rip. Rest in peace and peace. Here lies Ditsy Debbie Knight, wife and mother of average height. Took a walk at the change of a light. Didn't look left. Didn't look right. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in pepperoni. Get some gold. I don't... Wait, what's the jump button? Ugh. Alright, well... I don't know if I can go down there. I don't want to find out. I also don't have any um, EMB mods on either as well, so... In case anyone's... Oh! Hi, bony fella. Welcome back to your beloved Galomir. Some stinking death has risen up to dance with the life of sleeping. And they want to do it. Over your dead body. Hmm. You can recognize those slow brainers by the evil green glowing eyes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that's I, I don't know how they did that with the Oh shit. Okay. I, <laughs> okay, that act I don't know why I thought he was standing all of a sudden, but that actually scared me for no good reason. <laughs> oh, okay. I um, promise I'm not scared. All right, I'm just looking at all the tombstones, but this is really cool. I like this a lot. Got some lavender, nightshade. I'll, I'll take it all. I'll take it all. Are there any more funny tombstones? Oh. Hi. Um. Oh, nice. <laughs> you must be out of shape. All right. Years lying on your back. You stay there, Brooks. Don't worry. We all need to get the grips on your Oh. Enemy? That's an enemy. The zombie. <laughs> Okay. Got some got some obols. Some obols. I don't really know what an obol is, but I'll take it. I have to say, I know that's supposed to be like a quest adventure type mod, but I mean it is. Again, I don't know what the real game is like, but this is kind of relaxing. I like it. The music helps as we're slaying our way through horrific demons. All right, bring it on, boy. Yeah, and skeletons. Oh shit! <clears throat> Damn it! What are you talking about, stamina? I'm a skeleton. Can I use my throwing daggers? This is the first and actually the weakest projectile weapon Daniel can find. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. whoa, weak. I wouldn't call that weak. God damn. Oh, hey, little girl, what's up? Hi. Yeah. Right. I know you. You are Sir Daniel Fortescue. Miss Crabapple said you defeated some bad guy back when she was young. Yeah. Oh, how would you know that? Don't worry. The zombies can't reach me here. I mean, 
I could. Want to know a secret? What? There's a small locked part of the graveyard. Mom says an old witch had her grave sealed with runes over there. You can get in with one of the keys hanging over by the entrance to the shack. Oh. Oh. Cemetery. Nice. All right. Well, thanks. A man in a red dress has done something to all the folks in town, and now they act all weird. Oh. Uh, I mean, weirder than usual. First, he created this green light, and then these strange things started flying around. And then everyone started hmm. to moan like, strange. It's almost as if he took their souls or something. <laughs> Wonder why he didn't take mine. Oh, fuck. It's, she's ginger. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. Because she doesn't have a soul. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that's, that's. Wanna know a secret? No. There's a small locked part of the I mean, thanks, thanks, little girl. Is that in the original game? I. You can get in with one of the keys hanging over by the entrance. <laughs> oh my gosh. You could tell that the original dialogue was like a, I guess, a late '90s or early 2000s game because it, <laughs> because it's actually funny. <laughs> it's goofy, but it's funny. <sighs> All right, where is this entrance? I take you? Can I steal you? Thank you. And boop. Alright, little ginger girl who has no soul. <laughs> Till death do us part. Well, there's nothing really left, so I don't... Oh! Oh! Oh, hi! I didn't, uh... Oh! Did... You want me to sh you shoot me off? I... Okay, um, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll, I'll leave you, I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> oh, damn. Okay, well. Stop. Uh-oh. All right, we got to defend the little ginger girl. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to use the, um, the... Awesome throwing daggers. At least for a while, because damn. Because man, I would. I'll probably save those for a boss. Hmm. Coffin's empty. Let me, let me grave rob a little bit. I don't. Okay, so I guess money is obols. I didn't. I didn't realize that at first. Or, or obols. I. I don't know. Ooh, health. Thank you. Okay, here's the one place. Uh, hi. When I don't know what to do, I usually start handing stuff. Okay. I don't know how it works, but when I step into that green fountain thing, I felt quite refreshed. You should check that out. You know, springless zombies get you down. Hmm. When I don't know what to do, I usually All right. start handing stuff. Well, don't hit me. All right. I guess this is the which is which is uh locked by runes. I, do I need to do like magic or something? I don't have any magic though. Said it was sealed by runes. I unless I have something. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have much, but maybe I can come back. Oh, hello. Tombstone. Okay, so I know that this mod doesn't do 
quest markers. So... Oh! Rune! Oh, a piece of rune! Okay, that was pure fucking dumb luck. I... I... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously 190 IQ, so I... There you go. Thank you. Alright. Wanted to save, but... I wasn't quite sure. You're a little bit tougher. Back up. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. I don't know what the sprint button is. Nope. Okay. Alright, what's the what's the okay, left bumper. Okay, heal me up, heal me up. Okay. Save Bring Galomir. So I'm assuming these obols that I have that I'm getting are some form of valid currency. I, as far as I know, no one's explained this to me. Okay, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Hmm. All right. Harold. All right, I'm not even gonna attempt to read that. Okay, here's an angel. Oh. Oh, okay. Puzzle. Oh, so she opens up the gates if you light the fires. Oh, hello. Hi, zombie. Yeah, take this. I managed to bottle this green uh, thing. Drink it if you ever get hurt by those brainless ones. It should patch you right up. Oh, a potion? Thanks. This bottle is made from special glass, not some common litter. You can refill it at any of the life fountains. Hmm, okay. I call it life fountain, but you could call it whatever you want. Just wait. Should I know you? Never mind. I probably died before you got famous. <laughs> Sorry, only one bottle per walking corpse. Okay, well, thank you. So a life bottle. All right, wow, that's, wow. Okay, that's instant, instant life. Instant full life. Okay, the music is a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I love the music. Just a little bit loud. Okay, so. Oh, hey. Grandpa! Have you noticed that plants seem to be greener and bloom stronger behind that gate? Hmm. Be wary. That's the domain of powerful tree creatures. Terrible curse made them very aggressive. Oh boy. Almost unkillable. No point in fighting them when you don't have something to trap their souls in. They'll just grow back in no time. Well, if you really want to fight those tree folk, dark shrubites, you can lure them out by setting a fire near their trees. Just collect a few branches and prepare yourself for some ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, but maybe you want to talk to that smarty pants over there. He may give you one of his bottles of refreshment. Or whatever he calls it. Alright. Well, thanks, Grandpa. Alright, so that seems like some enemy we're going to have to fight. I don't 